In this video, we will try to learn the impact of per unit subsidy on the equilibrium quantity. The question is like this. Suppose the demand of apples is given by that is D is equal to 100 minus 6P and supply of apples is also given that is S is equal to 10 plus 4P. Suppose government initiates a subsidy of T is equal to $3 per unit of apples that is $3 of subsidy is given to the producer. Calculate Q star that is the equilibrium quantity of the apples sold after the subsidy is imposed and or the revenue needed to pay for the subsidy. So we will see what will be the impact of this per unit subsidy on the equilibrium price. Okay, first we will see what is our demand function. So original demand function is in place of D I will write Q because quantity is the function of price here. So our demand function is Q is equal to 100 minus 6P. What is our supply function? Supply function is also given that is Q is equal to in place of S I am writing Q because it is the function of P also. So I will write uh, 10 uh, plus 4 P. Okay. Now what is the equilibrium before uh, the uh, per unit subsidy for that we just equate demand and supply. So uh, equilibrium requires so at uh, equilibrium our demand should be equal to supply so equating these two equations that is 100 minus 6p should be equal to this uh, 10 plus 4p okay when solving this will come out to be transposing this 6p this will become plus 6p plus 4p is 10p 10p is equal to 100 minus 10 is 90 or which implies our p is equal to 90 divided by 10 which comes out to be 9 okay so I will draw graph also here so this simply means if we have quantity on this axis price on this axis our demand function is 100 minus 6p with intercept 100 here i will not write here and also our supply function is uh, upward sloping that is intercept is here 10 so at the intersecting point what we are having our equilibrium price is 9 okay so this is the situation right now okay so also our uh, equilibrium quantity before the imposition of per unit subsidy would be simply we just put p is equal to uh, 9 uh, in either uh, demand or supply function so we will put in the supply function so we have 10 uh, plus 4 times this 9 so which comes out to be 10 plus 9 for the 36 it comes out to be 46 so before the imposition of per unit tax our equilibrium quantity is 46 and our equilibrium price is 9 okay now the question tells us uh, there is the subsidy of t is equal to three dollars per unit sold so uh, imposition of subsidy will shift our supply curve towards right okay as we know uh, this supply curve is also our marginal cost curve when the subsidy is being given as uh, $3 per unit, that means our marginal uh, uh, cost of production will decrease by 3 units. Or our new supply uh, will look like this. We will take our old supply curve. Okay. Now I will write when, uh, when subsidy is given, when subsidy is imposed imposed at t is equal to three dollars okay then our supply new supply uh, function will look like this q dash is equal to 10 plus 4 times uh, p plus 3 okay because price will increase by 3 so we have in place of p i will write uh, p plus 3 p the original price plus the subsidy given okay so our new supply will look like this 10 plus 4p plus 12 when solving this will come out to be let me uh, write it like this we have uh, 10 plus 12 we have here 10 plus 12 is equal to so let uh, let us write it q is equal to 10 plus 12 is 22 22 plus 4p okay this is our new supply function now our new equilibrium will occur at the intersection of our old demand function and new supply function so 
new equilibrium require state our old demand function that is d should be equal to s dash that is new supply function which is this when we equate uh, this new supply function with old uh, demand function we have 100 minus 6p is equal to 22 plus 4p okay when solving this comes out to be uh, 10p is equal to now 100 minus uh, 22 comes out to be 100 minus this is 10 minus 2 is 8 this is 9 minus 2 is 7 okay or our price would be equal to 78 divided by 10 which comes out to be uh, 7.8 okay so our new uh, price would be so uh, let me draw the new supply function it will look like this because after the imposition of per unit subsidy this will shift towards right and our new equilibrium price would be at the intersection point of this so here it is 7.8 okay now what is our uh, this is our p new price after that we have to find uh, the new equilibrium quantity which is uh, the question asking all about okay we just plug p is equal to 7.8 in our uh, in our new supply function okay uh, put I will write here put put uh, uh, P is equal to 7.8 okay uh, in our supply function then what is our new supply function this is our new supply function that means Q is equal to 22 plus 4 times the value of P is 7.8 so I will write here 7.8 okay that means q is equal to 22 uh, plus now 4 8s are 32 point 4 7s are 28 uh, 4 7s are 28 29 30 31 okay this comes out to be 31.2 and when solving this will come out to be we have 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and uh, 2 plus 3 is 5 this comes out to be so our new equilibrium quantity after the imposition of per unit tax of three dollars would be 53.2 okay now coming to the next part we have to find uh, the revenue that is needed to pay for the subsidy okay what will be the uh, impact of the government revenue that is simply uh, what was the equilibrium new equilibrium price that is this point and if we go up to the original supply curve okay and take this rectangle so this rectangle uh, this very rectangle this rectangle will give us the amount of revenue that is needed to pay for this very subsidy okay because here uh, so i will write here 53.2 will be the new equilibrium quantity after the imposition of per unit tax okay now suppliers will uh, will receive additional uh, three dollars of subsidy okay so uh, starting from the new equilibrium point to the or uh, old equilibrium point uh, this very distance will be three dollars okay that means uh, the tax I will write here tax revenue uh, to pay or uh, revenue to be paid to be paid for subsidy subsidy is simply equal to subsidy subsidy times uh, the quantity transacted that is quantity transacted at new equilibrium new equilibrium so what is the subsidy subsidy is three rupees per unit sorry three dollars per unit times what is the quantity being trans, uh, transacted that is uh, 53.2 okay so this comes out to be three two are six we have three threes are nine and uh, three fives are fifty that means 159.6 dollars is the burden 
of this very per unit subsidy and this very portion that is uh, this very uh, shaded area will give us the revenue because here it is 7.8 and after uh, that three dollars subsidy so this will become seven eight nine ten this will here it is ten point eight 10.8 so the area of this very rectangle will give us the amount of subsidy to be paid okay i hope i make myself clear thank you